I'm Darshna from Twinkle and today we're going to be springing into Twinkle's Spring and Easter ages 7 to 9 activity booklet. In this booklet you'll find lots of activities all based on the theme of Spring and Easter. So let's take a look. The first activity in this booklet is how to make your very own Easter sock rabbit. You'll need a pair of socks, old ones will do just fine for this, two buttons, scissors, a needle and thread and some cotton wool or similar for padding. Now if you don't have any of these things or you want to make something that you don't need to sew, why not have a go at making this no sew sock rabbit like me? To make your no sew sock rabbit you will need an old sock, a pair of scissors, a marker pen, some rice in a pouring container, something like an old cookie cutter that you can use to help pour the rice into the sock, a bow or a hair tie which has a bow on it and some thread. Firstly, we're going to pour some rice into the sock but to help us do this without making a mess we're going to use a cookie cutter. Carefully fold the top edge of the sock over the cookie cutter so it forms like a funnel. You then slowly pour the rice into the sock. Keep pouring the rice in until the sock is about two thirds full. If you need to add some more at any point then feel free. Now once you've removed your cookie cutter you need to use your fingers to shape the rice filled sock into the body and the head of a rabbit. Once you've done this, separate the sections by tying some of the thread around where the top of the head would be and also another piece where the top of the body would be. Simply snip off any excess thread using the scissors. Our next step is where we create our rabbit's ears. You need to carefully cut down from the top of the remainder of the sock. You then need to cut from the middle to turn these into little ear shapes like this. Now for some extra detail. Draw on two circles using your marker pen for eyes and then draw a little cross for the rabbit's nose. If you have some ribbon you could tie it around the rabbit's neck like a little scarf or if you don't if you have a hair tie lying around with a bow maybe you could use that just like I have. And there you have it, your very own no sew rabbit. I will warn you though, you do need to keep your eyes on this rabbit because I hear he is a very big fan of carrots. The next activity in this booklet is this Spring Birds Hunt Checklist. Why not get out and about and see which of these birds you can spot? If you spot more than one, why not create a tally chart to see which one you see the most. Next up is this lovely spring word search. You'll find lots of topical words to find in this word search and the best thing about it is that you'll find the answers at the back of the booklet. Now it's time to get creative again. Why not have a go at making your own toilet roll chip? You will need some toilet paper roll obviously without the toilet paper on it, two googly eyes if you have them, some yellow paint, some yellow and orange card, the chip template which can be found in the booklet, a paintbrush, some glue and also some scissors. The first step is to cut the toilet roll tube in half. It would be really handy grown ups if you could draw a line around the centre for the children to follow when they cut as well as make a first cut for them so that it's not as tricky. Once they've cut this very carefully the next step is to paint the tubes yellow. Now this may need more than one coat and you need to wait for this to dry completely before moving on to the next step. Now for the chick's feet, wings and beak. If you have some yellow and orange card you can simply copy the templates onto them. If not just draw them onto some plain white card and colour them in orange or yellow. Carefully draw these out and cut them with some scissors. 
and hopefully you'll end up with some feet, a beak and some wings a bit like this. Now you need to stick your feet, your wings and your beak onto your chick like this. And once you've done that, the final step is to add those googly eyes. And if you don't have any, then that's fine too. Just draw some eyes onto some white card and stick them on. And there you have it, your very own toilet roll chick. Cheep, cheep. You can also have a go at this spring multiplication mosaic. Solve the multiplication problems and then colour in the square based on the answers to reveal this beautiful Easter picture. The answers can also be found at the back of the booklet. The booklet also contains a recipe on how to bake your very own hot cross buns. Listed you'll find the ingredients, the equipment needed to make them as well as the method. Once you've baked your buns, you could decorate them using the traditional icing cross. Or, like we did, why not get silly and decorate them with some funny faces? We simply use some icing to stick these on. You can make your own icing or use some brought from a shop. We found that the sillier you made the faces, the more fun they were to eat. And after all those rather exciting activities, why not relax with some mindfulness colouring? You could choose from our funky Easter bunny or our picture of an Easter egg. If you don't have access to a printer, why not have a go at creating your own Easter egg mindfulness colouring in sheet? All you need to do to start is draw an egg template onto a sheet of paper. Once you've done this, you can draw any design onto it to colour in. We've simply created our own pattern using a ruler by drawing straight lines in different directions. Once you've done enough of these, you'll find you've formed some beautiful shapes. Now relax and be mindful whilst colouring in these shapes in any colours you like. Make them nice and bright if you wish or you can have calmer tones. It's completely up to you. And once you've finished, as you can see, you've created your very own mindfulness colouring Easter egg. Well done. And if all that's still not enough, why not have a go at colouring in the beautiful illustrations on the back cover? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you've got some really brilliant ideas. Hope to see you soon. Bye.